So let's look at these interesting situations that occasionally come around called dojis. And what are they trying to tell us? And, and more importantly, you know, how can we, what are they telling us and how can we use them to be better traders, basically? So a doji is a situation where a candlestick has no real body or only a very small one. Um, and the reason that happens is that the opening price and the closing price are at or very near the same level. So if you look at this graphic here on a typical candlestick, you see you have a pretty good sized body, real body, the rectangle part, with a wick at both the top and the, and the bottom. And as you know from a previous lesson, those are called an upper shadow and a lower shadow. Now, if you look at these Toji candlesticks, one's got the open and close more towards the bottom and not much of a candle body there. It, there is a body there, but it's like they're almost exactly the same price. You're not going to see that width of prices between the open and the close because they're all close together. Same thing with the one on the right, the far right, where the price is opened high or higher and then it closed high near the high as well, too. So there's still a range. You can still see the vertical mean line down the middle. There's still a long wick running through and affect the entire candlestick with a high upper shadow and a low lower shadow. But the doji is showing a very small candle uh, itself, the body showing that the open and close are occurring near each other. And because that happens, we can learn things around that. Now on its own though, a doji doesn't tell you all that much just looking at it alone in space. Other than that, there's indecisiveness in the market, right? There's no clear highs or lows or, excuse me, and there's no clear opens and closes that where it's going up or down as far as that. And really where a doji gains its meaning is based on the bars preceding it. What is happening before it? Because a doji can help indicate that a transition may be coming and what type of transition depending on the type of doji. So think of that way. Don't think like, I see a doji, I do something. Think, I see a doji, I need to look backwards a little bit to see what might be happening next and that'll help me with my trading decision. Do I buy? Do I sell? What do I do? So dojis, you know, kind of work along uh, with the other price bars. So a doji that occurs after a prolonged uptrend means buyers are coming in and there's been this long prolonged uptrend, the prices have been rising, and you start seeing doji, a doji, that could mean that the, it's coming to an end of their buying or bullish enthusiasm as far as a doji occurring after a prolonged uptrend. That would be like a series of like white or green bars, for example, of candles, you know, those candlesticks showing that. And that might be the end of that trend. And that's called a bearish doji star, right? Bull means things are going up, bearish means things are coming down. So we have this long uptrend. And so now we see dojis approaching or coming in that might show indecisiveness and we might be ready to make a move now the opposite direction or down, thus a bearish doji star. A doji after a prolonged downtrend, the exact opposite of that, where we've been going down for some times, means buyers might be coming in and they're getting more enthused about that security and they're starting to buy that security and that price is, might be ready to start coming up. So it's been going down. We've had a series of red bars. There's now some a doji that might be appearing, showing some indecisiveness, maybe showing us that we're ready to make that turn and go back upwards. And that's called a bullish doji star. So we have bearish doji stars, bullish doji stars, acting in the opposite ways. But that's the idea of these doji candlesticks that could show you know, where these changes might be occurring. So what, does that what do we kind of learn from that if we think about it now a little bit closer? What we know is that a doji is kind of a transitional indicator. It's not a continuation indicator, a trend's gonna continue. If anything, it's gonna tell us that a transition may be coming. You know, that the trend, whether it's going up or down, is going to change. So if you're investing, let's say, along a certain trend, let's say a buying trend, you want the prices to go up and you and you start seeing a doji, then you might say, ah, it might be time for me to get out and sell because that trend might, that upward trend might be willing to change. Again, they could be up or down, depends on the way the trend is going. And then the stronger the previous trend, you know, the more likely that the doji is actually going to correctly signal a change. So if it's not a very strong trend, kind of in and out, you know, it's not that strong a trend. The doji might not be as impactful, but if you've had a long, real strong bull upward trend and you see a doji, there's a very higher chance that the doji will be correct signaling that change and transition. Again, nothing's perfect, but it's something you definitely want to be aware of and maybe, you know, adjust your trading based on that. And then, and then lastly, in the next lesson we're gonna learn about, there are certain doji shapes actually that have extra meaning. So we know a doji is gonna be a transitional indicator and the trend might change, stronger the trend, a real good chance is gonna change, but then how that doji looks could provide us even more meaning. 
So that's coming up in the next lesson around doji candlesticks. Oh, in our previous example too, where we saw actually a couple dojis back to back, did it signal that there was gonna be a change in trend? Well, not really that much because the trend before it was not really fully formed. It was not a strong trend. You saw our trend was really a couple you know, days of pricing. There was a big you know, down day with that big high volume you see over there on the left-hand side. You know, so it, maybe there wasn't a big strong trend leading up to that. Uh, and if we look back a little bit further on the right-hand side, you can see before had a real narrow trading range, you know, up and down, kind of following this narrow channel. Then it started to go up a little bit. Doji's appeared. Was it going to go back down? We were watching for it. As it turned out, it didn't really make a transition, but it was something to be aware of. And then that trend actually continued. So if I was looking at this on the right-hand side, I'd say, okay, we started to trend up. A couple doji's appeared. I was watching it. And then the trend continued up after that. You can see because they're you know black and they're you know white white candlesticks and they're up higher and the, even the ranges are higher. They're open. Their clothes are higher, or their clothes is higher. I would say ah maybe I am going to get a nice strong trend coming now because even the dojis couldn't throw it off. So another way to look at that.